checked the uh, calendars, but it would probably be. report about proxy voting. No later than the July 10th regular board meeting. July 10th meeting. Yeah, regarding the uh, special board meeting on May 29th, last time we talked, it was going to be it was going to be a meeting on that. Right. The social park. What, what are the reasons why it was canceled? Uh, I reconsidered and decided that the report to the board would be appropriate at a regular meeting at a regular at a, at a, at a, uh, a different day. And the report is not going to be regarding level one or level two. The report is going to be on the issues and the and the board's policy on the issues. Uh, related to what is before these 10 public credit packages. Can you expand on that quite quickly? Well, it's not to be, all I'm telling you is that it's been taken off, the special meeting that was proposed, um, I, it's been taken off. And, and it's put on the, the no regular later than meeting? The, it'll be a regular meeting agenda item and no okay. later than the July 10th board meeting. Okay. So is there a reason given why it's being pulled off? My discretion, my decision. Uh, basically, there were a lot of meetings that we're proposing, additional meetings, special meetings. And so the decision to put this as a special meeting, one item agenda, I'm reconsidering that. And so I think that it would be time-wise, you know, appropriate that it would be, it could be presented at a regular meeting. Better all in one than taking us come back to getting us all here. Well, it seems that the opportunities for discussion of the discriminatory lending motions are getting to be fewer and fewer, and including moving public comment to the end of the meeting rather than having it at the beginning of the meeting, which of course makes it much less convenient for the public to comment since we have to sit through sometimes three or four hours worth of other business. So the mic lost all of what I said, but um, but basically what I'm saying is it seems like the board has decided that, or at least the staff have decided that um, public comment and discussion of the discriminatory lending um, motions is uh, of less and less importance to SPURS. That's a shame. You know, we've been coming here. This is what our fifth meeting now. Uh, we're going to be we're going to be here until this gets discussed fully and completely. Um, so, you know, if you want to make it difficult for us, you can, or you can make it uh, easier for the public to comment and truly have a, a full discussion. We're limited to two minutes each, each time we talk. Uh, you guys can speak for as long as you want. The evidence isn't getting to the commissioners that on these motions. It's, it's, uh, it's politics as usual, and it, and it looks like the banks have really bought off the commission. And thank you. Yes, I'd like to um, find out what is the, the process for public records request to find out what correspondence has been going on between Wells Fargo, uh, Representative Brenda Wright, and the executive director who has on his own discretion decided he's going to move the a meeting or to a regular meeting. I'd like to see, find out, is it a letter that I need to write or what needs to happen and find out what kind of correspondence has been going on, if there has been any correspondence going on that uh, might have been impetus for the executive director to move this meeting to a, a special meeting. I'd like to see if there are any records that indicate that whether there might have been some influence or not. <laughs> 